G'day everyone, I'm glad you're here because in today's episode of Let's Remember we're taking a look at the DOS version of Lemmings. Now I've never played this particular iteration of Lemmings but I'm very familiar with the concept because I played it on Genesis and I also had some kind of Christmas edition for DOS many years ago. Anyway, let's get right into it. So here's our main page, I can choose the difficulty here and go fun, tricky, taxing or mayhem. I'm going to start with fun because I'm pretty sure all they're all the same difficulty, it's just that when you raise the difficulty, you start at a different point in the game. So fun will start at level 1, tricky probably level 5 or 10 or something, and so forth. So let's do this. One player, press F1 to begin. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Ah, that looks hideous. Okay, it's not emulating perfectly, but I think the game will look fine. And if I remember right, these games have awesome soundtracks, so get ready. Oh yes, it's so good. So if you're not familiar with the concept of lemmings, basically these little uh, little guys fall out of this hole in the sky here, and the objective is to get them to this uh, escape down here on the bottom right. And you do that by issuing them commands. Because uh, if you just leave them, they will just walk non-stop until they fall off a ledge or die or hit a wall and they'll turn around. So in the bottom part of the screen here, you can see I can issue them commands uh, from left to right. I think we've got climb, give them an umbrella as a parachute type deal, uh, set them to explode, put them to block other lemmings, make them build a bridge, bash through walls, pickaxe down through the ground, or dig directly down in the ground. So let's just uh, get one to dig down there so he can uh, make a path for the rest of his, his friends. I could make them all dig, but it's not really necessary. Uh, see here, we've got out of 10 in 0%. Yeah, 0% of lemmings have made it to the exit. I've got a time limit here. I've got a little map here which I can manipulate. And uh, these plus and minus symbols on the far left I think you change them to affect the rate at which lemmings come out of the uh, hole here. But obviously that's uh, they've all come out now. Uh, what's this paw print button do? Oh, it pauses the game! Oh, very clever, I see. Haha, <laughs> pause. Uh, and this nuke button? That kills all of your lemmings. Which is uh, kind of sadistic and fun to do sometimes. So there we go, that's the first level. Now let's really get into this. All lemmings accounted for, you risk it 100%. You totally storm that level. Let's see if you can storm the next. Yes, let's. And it gives you a code for the next level. Level 2. This should be a doddle. Number of lemmings 50, 50% to be saved. Yeah, so you don't have to save every lemming to succeed in all levels. Some of them you do though. And this one is a little bit more involved. So you've got a hole there. If a lemming falls in there, they are screwed. So what I'm going to do is issue this guy to stop other lemmings from going through so they don't fall down the hole. And I'll use this guy as my worker. So he can um, build a little bridge here for his little friends to cross this gap. That should work nicely. Just got to keep a close eye on him though, because after a certain number of uh, planks he puts down, he runs out. Oh, like that, yeah. If I didn't click that in time, he probably would have fallen down the hole just then. So that's a long enough bridge now. Make sure nothing's happening over here. Good, nothing bad. They're all just gathering in that hole. And once he reaches this block over here, we're going to turn him into a basher to push through this wall. And yeah, it looks like it's a straight shot to the exit from there. Now this ability, I think, yeah, you got to activate it just the right time. I'm pretty sure, well, actually no, I think they only bash a certain uh, amount of bricks out of the way before they stop. But that was a fine enough length and now he's going to make it to the exit. Now I just got to free these other lemmings up. And unfortunately the only way to do that I think is to explode this blocker guy. You can't just tell him to stop blocking. You have to kill him unfortunately, so goodbye! Ah, uh, suicide. Well, that was a cool sound effect. So now let's get them to the exit. They'll all just make their way there. Let's increase our lemming rate. They should drop a little faster now. Oh no, they've already all come out. And I don't think on this particular version you can actually speed up the rate of gameplay, unfortunately. 
So you do have to just kind of sit and wait for these periods where there's a long stretch of ground for the lemmings to uh, navigate. But that's okay. That's okay. Now this is a great game. It's a great concept. It's still fun today. Uh, versions of this were made for lots of different platforms. As I said, I played the Genesis version. I'm pretty sure it's like a PlayStation version, and there have been more recent remakes, and there's similar types of games that have totally taken this concept and ran with it. But it's a great concept, and it's, and it's a good time, but damn does it get hard. It can get really hard if I remember right. So let's see how much the difficulty ramps up in this third level. Oh, Lemmings accounted for. You rescued 98%, you needed 50%. So that one guy accounted for 2%. You stole that level, thank you, thank you. Okay, what happened? Oh, we're moving up to taxing difficulty, okay. F1 starts taxing. Level 3, if at first you don't succeed. Okay, what's this level gonna be like? Oh no, okay. Oh lord, I remember this one, I think. From somewhere, maybe uh, the version I played was exactly the same as this version. Oh, let's see if I could do it. It's gonna be pretty uh, embarrassing if I don't. It's only level 3, but it's very easy to ruin everything in this game, which just makes it a little stressful. I'll just get you to bash through there. These guys aren't gonna be any, in any immediate danger at the moment. Now let's get him to the next pillar. He can bash through that. Yep. Gotta get that timing right on the click, otherwise he'll just bash in the air for a split second and then give up and turn around. Which is annoying. And it does happen sometimes. I'm also wary of my time limit, I've only got three minutes. Excuse me. Oh shit, I don't have any, any more bashes left. Crap, I thought I had three. Uh, okay, what else can we do? We can blow them up. We can make them climb over. Hmm. Maybe I'll try a pickaxe guy? I don't know, let's see if this works. Go on, little buddy. Of course, then there's gonna be the problem of getting through these stairs. Uh, there must be a better way of doing this. I've completely screwed it up, maybe. Let's see, let's see what we're, our options are. If I can detonate a lemming at the exact right time. Three, two, one. Oh, that might have just done it. Yes, okay, we can get them through there, but we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. We want to get, do what we did last time and get a scout through here. Come on, turn you into a builder. We've got to bridge this gap here. Oh, this is tense. This is tense stuff, everybody. I'm not being exaggerating either. No hyperbole, this is tense and stressful. Alright, keep a close eye. No, keep going. You'd be a good little lemming. What are lemmings anyway? I mean, I know they're actual creatures in real life. Little mammal type things, but in this game they're kind of like little elf things with green hair and... I don't know, it's odd. It's odd. I wonder where the concept came from. Now this thing here... I think if a lemming touches that, they kind of like incinerate themselves. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I know I don't want to be touching it. Hopefully I've got enough bridge pieces to bridge this final gap. I'm feeling a bit more confident. This should be okay. This should be okay. Oh crap, my time. Shit. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, we're running out of time here. We've got to do this quick. Go do this quickly, quickly, quickly. So I'm going to give him the order to do that. Oh god, this is going badly. I'm going to blow you up. Okay, come on. Quick build a thing. Don't you run out of bricks, okay? Okay. Now he should be blown up. Yes, okay, the rest of them are coming. Gotta finish the bridge before they get to it. Okay, now all we can do is wait. And hope that they all make it to the exit before the time runs out. Actually, it should be okay because they're all locked in that little uh, area over here. Yeah, this should be good. Okay. Ah. Oh. I was all nervous for nothing. Now we get the satisfaction of watching all lemmings get into the safety exit hall. Hooray! <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know what all those other other abilities could have been used for. Maybe uh, I'm sure there are other ways to solve this. I guess I took the most obvious route. Or maybe they're just there to screw with you and make you think that uh, you're supposed to be using every one of these abilities. But yeah, that was good. That was good, 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 good. Let's see what level 4 has to offer. Okay, now we're on taxing difficulty. Okay. I don't know how many levels there are. Level 3, if I... Wait, what? I already did this one. Okay, let's get back to the mid... Wait. Did I do this? Yeah. Sorry, I thought it looked a little bit different, but I'm just going crazy. Yeah, 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 right. Mouse button for menu. Let's do mayhem. Oh god, I'm scared. This is where it all comes unraveled, probably. Level four, and then there were four. Okay, but it's the deal in this level. Okay, there's like four points of entry for the lemmings to come out of. Where do I have to get them to? Oh, the exit's right in the middle. Oh god, I gotta get them all. Crap, and there's no way you can break through this uh, iron stuff in the middle. That guy's heading over there. Uh, no, how am I gonna... G uh, okay, this guy is my main concern. Oh, shit. Oh no, that guy drowned. Okay, okay alright, alright. We've got lots of building stuff we can do. So I'm gonna build uh, bridges over these gaps. This shouldn't be too hard, but... Oh no, I pressed it at the wrong moment. Too late, too late. Wait, are these guys dying? Is that too far for them to fall? Oh no, that's what happens when they fall too far, they explode. That's gruesome. Shit, what do I do, what do I do? Okay. I don't have any parachutes to give them. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this here. You can dig straight downwards. I can't have any more lemming deaths. Is this guy running, gonna run out of bricks? Yes, he did. Shit. No, you did as well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm doing so badly at this. Okay. Let's try and build another... Uh, extend this bridge. Okay, extend the bridge, and then we'll see what we do. That's part of the reason why this is so hard. I guess it would be wiser to have a look at the level thoroughly before you start, but trying to figure out exactly what to do while the pressure's on and lemmings are dying, it's stressful, man. It's tense. Alright, these guys are coming back, so they're gonna die if I don't build a bridge for them. These guys are gonna come down the bottom and fall into the water if I don't do something. Okay, I'm gonna turn both of these guys into builders, which is uh, necessary, but I gotta keep them both busy. Alright, now these guys are gonna come down. Um, I can build a bridge up here. Should work, should work. Hope that wasn't too early to do it. I'm gonna turn those both into builders. Wait, what happened to the guys that were building this? Did they escape? Oh, it was probably slightly too short of a bridge. Or something like- Alright, no! Don't stop! Oh, look at that! He fell right through that tiny gap. That is bullshit. That is so annoying. Okay, this time. <laughs> oh, we're running out of lemmings here! We're running out of freaking lemmings! Alright, fine. You keep building there. Now, when this guy turns- Oh, they're falling through the hole as well? You're shitting me! This is why lemmings can get very, very frustrating. Because of these little, uh, you know, imperfections in the coding and stuff, I suppose, causes issues like this. Okay, that's good. He's not gonna fall through that hole. Oh no, this guy's gonna die. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> All these goddamn lemmings are dying on my watch. Okay, you're gonna... Oh, what? That guy fell through. Fuck everything. Oh my god, no. They're falling through these tiny little holes. Alright, there's a way around this. What I have to do... No, no, no. I can save you. You have to build a little bridge. We're like almost out of lemmings on this side. Why is this guy coming back here? Oh my god. No, this is a total write-off now. Total write-off. Well, we saved two lemmings from both of these two top holes. We only saved two of the lemmings. I don't know how to get these ones out, I just... 
Got to be able to hold a bunch of bridges. Sometimes it's really hard to select the right lemming when they're in these big groups like this. This is going to work out badly anyway, so I'm going to show you the detonate all lemmings button. Watch this. See, now they all have timers on them. <laughs> oh. Whoa, that was awesome, dude. Oh. And on that note, I think I went this video. That is a good idea of what Lemmings is about. If you liked it, I'd totally recommend checking it out. And hey, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time for more videos. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more like this in the future. And hey, keep it fancy.